Okay, students. Today in, in this class, we will discuss about a small problem on Rayleigh Ridge method. Coming to Rayleigh Ridge method, it is used for solving complex structural problems. Here I am solving a problem on Rayleigh Ridge method. First of all, I am reading question. Find the deflection for a simply supported beam subjected to a point load by using Rayleigh Ridge method. Already we know that about expressions for a Rayleigh Ridge method polynomial or trigonometric. First of all, I am reading polynomial series y equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube and so on. Coming to trigonometric series y equal to a1 sin pi x by l plus a2 sin 3 pi x by l plus a3 sin 5 x by l, 5 pi x by l and so on. We know that from total potential energy or minimum potential energy pi is total potential energy that equal to u plus or minus w coming to here u is nothing but potential energy or strain energy plus or minus w is work done here we are taking simply supported beam subjected to a point load here i'm taking simply supported beam point load act at middle of point so here for finding u value u value i'm using an equation nothing but ei by 2 integral 0 to l d square y by dx square whole square dx this this expression is similar for all beams whether it is related to simply supported or cantilever etc next here i am applying polynomial series y is equal to a naught plus a1 x plus a2 x square plus a3 x cube coming to next slide here I'm applying and taking boundary conditions at x equal to zero and y is also zero. And next I am applying x equal to length, x is L and y equal to zero. Applying boundary conditions in a uh, polynomial series equation that is n r plus a one x plus a two x square. Here I'm taking first boundary condition x equal to zero, y equal to zero. Then substituting x value and y value in, in polynomial series then y equal to zero i'm putting zero value in polynomial series equation y equal to zero plus a naught plus a one x in x position instead of x we are putting the value of x that is nothing but zero plus a to x square x value is zero zero square is zero here a naught is zero next putting second boundary conditions x equal to l and y equal to zero say in same polynomial series equation y equal to a naught plus a one x plus a two x square here instead of x we are giving l value in x position so same in here y value is zero plus a naught a naught value from third equation zero plus a one instead of x i am putting the value l a1 l plus a2 x square x value l a2 l square from that equation after substitution a1 value equal to minus a2 l next from third equation we know that a1 value i'm substituting the value a1 value in third equation that is y equal to a naught plus a one x plus a two x square here a naught is zero plus a one value already we know that a one value in equation three so a one equal to minus a two l this a one value is put in equation three a naught value is zero plus a one value is minus a two l minus a two l x plus a2 x square then y equal to a2 as common remaining terms are x2 square minus lx it is noted as fourth equation next differentiating this equation we will get dy by dx equal to 
A to X square is nothing but differentiate. X square will get 2X. It is in the format of X to the power of N. N into X to the power of N minus 1. 2X d by dx of x is 1. 2x minus l. All of you, please switch off your mics. Next, again differentiating the above equation, we will get d square y by dx square equal to 2a2. Here, all constants are d by dx of 1 is d by dx of x is 1. Constants are zeros. 2a2. Then next, we know that from this expression, we know that d square y by dx square value is the 2a2. So after finding the d square y by dx square value, I'm substituting this value in first equation, whereas u, a by 2, integral 0 to l, d square y by dx square, whole square dx. In this expression, d square y by dx square value is 2a2. So I am substituting this value in u equation. Here, u equal to a by 2. Instead of d square y by dx square whole square dx, I am putting 2a2 value, 2a2 whole square dx. After that, a by 2, 2a2. In this, 2a2 square. Those are all values are constants. 2 into 2, 4a2 square. Then after taking common 4a2 whole square, then remaining will be 1dx. Integral 1dx is x. Next, putting limits here, x 0 to l. After that, 2ei a2 square. Putting limits x equal to 0, 0, then L, 2EI, A2 square, L. Next. With this equation, U value found it. Next. After that, we will find work done. We know that pi equal to U plus or minus W, U value is found it. Next, to be found, work done. Work done for all beams. Class. 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 Here, work done will be P into Y max. Y max means weightage. Here, I am applying point load. P will be the point load. Here, I am applying the load at middle of. That means exactly center. The total length will be L. I am applying load at center. Then, it will be Y max equal to L by 2. Why I am taking L by 2 means the point load acts as center middle of to the beam. So, P point load acts at center, Y max will be Y at X equal to L by 2. L by 2 is nothing but point load acts at center, total length will be L, half L, L by 2 is Y max. Then P into Y max will be Y value, Y max will be finding, we already know that Y value. It is taken as y max, y max equal to from equation 3, y max equal to a2. Assume y value is the y max value here, y max equal to a2 x square minus lx. So I am substituting this value in work done, y max value, p into a2 x square minus lx at x equal to l by 2. From that ex expression, p into a2 x square will be x equal to l by 2. So after that substitution of x value l by 2, x square, l square by 4, l into 1 by 2, l into l by 2. That means l square by 2. 
after all cancellations that equal to w equal to minus p a2 l square by 4 this is the expression 6 equation 6 after that until now we calculated pi equal to u plus w from after that i am taking pi u minus w so u value is founded u value was founded next w value I already know that from that two expressions w is minus p a to l square by 4 then u value is 2 ei a to square l so i am substituting these equations in u minus w values after that differentiating pi values with respect to a2 i am common a2 has common dou pi by dou a2 equal to 0 then remaining constants are 4 ei ia il a2 plus a2 has common remaining terms pl square by 4 equal to 0 then after that a2 value to be founded minus pl square by 16 ei after that y equal to minus pl 16 ei x square minus lx at x equal to we know that point road acts at center x equal to l by 2 y max will be minus pl by 16 ei x value l square by 4 minus l into l square by 2 y max equal to pl cube by 64 ei after all cancellations and substitutions pl cube by 64 ei this is founded expression 1 by 64 is nothing but 0 0.01 something pl cube by ei here y max will be the deflection for simply supported beam for actual simply for actual deflection for simply supported beam is wl cube by 48 ei that will be 0 0.02 WL cube by EI. But we are sol after solving the expression, we will get Y max equal to 0 0.01 PL cube by EI. Okay. Any doubt? Please respond, all of you. This is very important problem on Rayleigh method. Yeah, no, sir. Equation, no, sir. Equation, I can use this. Online, sir. the main, sir. Relative method already discussed. Yes, I'm a chill. I'm a manama. Chaser, sir. Is another Dani in the polyamel series. This coni, a beam in the deflection gun. Kunami problem. Mm -hmm. so, 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 After solving a problem on relative method, I'm going to explain strain displacement relation matrix format. Here I'm taking a small volume. The length will be dx dy dz. Dz is not represented here. In three dimensional, dz is also there. That means z direction. Deformed element surface. For finding strain displacement relationship matrix, I'm writing and taking all strain relations. Those are already we know that normal strains and engineering strains, shear strains, those are denoted by EX, EY, EZ. 
and engineering shear strains are new xy new yz and new xz for vector format i am taking transpose here here also i am writing here ex is ex ey ez are normal strains new xy new yz new zx are nothing but engineering shear strains strain is nothing but change in length to original length shear strains are nothing but those strains are act as external forces that tend to shear the body next considering the all phases for small deformations we know that for ex ey ez values the deformations will be do u by do x do v by do y do w by do z i am taking three dimensional format here next adding all faces do u by do z plus do w by do x do v by do z plus do w by do y do u by do y plus do v by do x e is nothing but strain here so it is to be clarified by using this diagram first of all i am taking an element points a b with a length of x the deformation will be dx so after that i am applying transformation on moving element from length of x plus y direction in a length of x plus y not changing the position i am trans uh, transforming the element space from one to another next the total length will be x plus u plus dx plus do u by do x dx this is the total length ikkada chudandi amma just first oka element teeskunnamu aa element first length em anedante manaki x length untadi aa element ni nenu oka position nunchi kontha deformation anedi ichanu deformation ichinappudu point length em ayindante naaku x direction y direction lo total two lengths add chestunte x plus y ayindi tarvata danni total deformation teeskunte x plus u plus dx plus do u by do x after all deformation dx we know that strain will be change in length to original length here the expression will also note that deformed length to original length by original length deformed length is nothing but lf original length is l not by l not here the deformed length will be minus x plus u minus means the element changes places from one position to another that is the deformation so i am negating here minus x plus u is the deformation plus original length will be x plus u plus dx plus do u by do x dx first initial position uh, deformation will be original length dx similarly for strains ex equal to do u by do x ey equal to do u by do y ez equal to do w by do z for three dimensional problems here i am taking two dimensional for three dimensional problems six component stresses six components of strains three displacement components are there we already know that in previous class i was told to you for any beam or any problem three kinds of forces are acted on a body those are nothing but body forces surface forces and point or concentrated loads this is the relationship for strain deform strain displacement relation any doubts if you have any doubts please ask me